final notice to Lara Croft, a current tenant of premises. This is to serve as your final notice for the purposes of terminating your ownership of Croft Manor. You are required to immediately vacate and surrender possession of said manor to Atlas de Mornay, executor of estates. Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter, but so be it. As you know, your parents appointed me executor of the estate in the event of their absence. Since your mother disappeared, her death was never technically declared. And given the circumstances surrounding your father's death, it's no surprise that he never drafted a formal last will and testament to account for this circumstance. Unfortunately, you have no legal claims to the estate. I'm willing to negotiate a modest monthly stipend from your trust, but only if you leave the manor by week's end. Don't fight me on this, Lara. Your mother wouldn't want that. Sincerely, Atlas. There has to be a will or some kind of evidence of what happened to Mum in the manor somewhere. Dad's safe. Dad's map of the forgotten cities of northern Syria. He was closer than he knew to finding the Prophet's tomb. I finally introduced Richard to the family. It went precisely how I imagined. I see but polite grace from mother, indifference and disinterest from father, and thinly veiled contempt from Atlas. Of course they don't approve. To them, Lord Croft is the man who took away their beloved daughter and ruined her long-standing engagement. Though I was never going to marry that repugnant Earl of Farringdon anyway. One might think they would be happy that I was being courted by a genuine lord of the realm. It just happens to be Richard Croft. In their eyes, the man who single-handedly ruined a once great family. But there's nothing to be done now. Watching how Richard dealt with their subtle insults and disrespect. Such grace and calm. I know he did it for me. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with this man. It will break my mother's heart, but I cannot live the life she imagined for me. My time with Richard has only made this clearer. It must have been hard for Mum to go against her family's wishes. I'm glad she did. A picture with Dad and Anna. Never liked wearing dresses, but the color was nice. This is probably my grandfather, Benjamin. Dad would have liked me to go to Oxford, but I insisted on UCL. <laughs> yep, looks real. Roth once offered to forge me a fake diploma. Well, this is a hell of a thing. I met someone tonight quite unexpectedly. But it shouldn't have been, it seems. I've been so buried in my work, so distracted by my latest revelations, I never bothered to notice my surroundings. But there she was, sitting at my table in the library. Her name is Amelia. And apparently she's been studying right next to me. Art history, of all things. I shared some of my research against my better judgment, but I wanted to see how she would respond. And she did not disappoint. I felt as if I was suddenly engaged in a mental game of chess, moving and counter-moving in argument. At one point, that poor old librarian had to shush us as if we were children. I feel so foolish for not having noticed her earlier. She's a brilliant woman who's challenged my ideas for the first time in memory. In truth, I don't know if she's feeling as exhilarated as I am right now, but I dare say our conversation was mutually stimulating. For the first time in a long time, I find myself thinking about something else besides my research. I hope she returns for another round tomorrow. 
My parents made a good team, challenging each other from the start. My birthday crown. <laughs> I was so proud of that thing. <laughs> That's my handwriting. One of Dad's Yoruba masks. A gift from a friend he met on an expedition in Nigeria. <sighs> this is the map I made for my first expedition with Dad. It shows a path to the library through the servants' passages. Wait, I can get to the library through the old servant's corridor. Dad's artifacts from the Nile Valley. I always love looking at these. Too dark. Going to need a flashlight. Hi, Dad. I've been thinking about Mum lately. I wish I knew more about her. How did you meet? What was she like? Winston told me that she was a brilliant artist. Are some of her paintings locked up in the West Wing? And I guess I just want to know, did she love me, Dad? Did she ever say that she did? Maybe I'm just being silly, but will you tell me more about her the next time I'm home from school? <laughs> well, hello there, Sir Lancelot. Don't worry, I won't be boring your sword this time. Lara, I've reviewed the report from your therapist. I have to say I was surprised to see a clean bill of health. I somehow doubt you've so easily abandoned your irrational claims. Indeed, where have you been the past few weeks? My secretary discovered that you booked a flight to Turkey on the 20th. You can't have been simply sightseeing, as your customs claim suggest. I know you're up to something, and I'll be damned if I let you use the Croft assets to indulge the same obsession that led to my sister's death. It's not too late to relinquish your claims on the manor voluntarily. If you refuse, I will find a way to cut you off. Sincerely, Atlas. Love playing in here as a kid. This will be one of the first things to fix. A phoenix figurine. I bet this appealed to Dad's idea of immortality. Of Lara, you know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to see. We've been through this. Was Mum's room in here? Just stay out of there, darling. Dad was always so protective of the West Wing. Locked. Need a key to open this. What are you doing sitting there on the floor, Mistress Lara? Looking at the compass, thinking. What about, if I may inquire? Just thinking about discovering faraway places, about finding adventure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, my lady. You've the soul of an explorer. But don't grow up too fast. The author came in the post last week, and I still haven't told Richard. He flew ahead to Tibet, where I will meet him shortly. I never told him I was submitting my work. Never thought there was a chance of being accepted. Oh, but a gallery tour is not something I can pass up. The show will take me away from England for over a year. 
I'll begin in New York and travel across the United States and... Oh, God, I'm giddy even writing these words. When Richard and I were married, I was prepared to relegate my painting to a hobby. But it was Richard who objected, who gave me my atelier and studio. Without that support, I might still be... Got to remember to pack this for my next trip. Hey Jonah, sorry for not getting back to you sooner. I've decided to do some research at the manor. A lot has happened and I need some time to think about what I want to do next. This old place is filled with memories and secrets. Uncle Atlas has tried to keep me out of here for so long I don't even know if I want to keep it. But after everything that's happened, maybe I can find out what it still means to me. If it's worth fighting him for, I'll let you know how things worked out when I'm back in London. Should be able to explore the dark now. Apart. Maybe I should just let my uncle have this place. They say a good test of a relationship is how well you travel together. Well, I'd say Amelia and I have passed that test with flying colors. Indeed, these last few months in Egypt have been nothing short of extraordinary. She and Roth get on like old uni chums. In fact, the two have spent more than a few nights drinking and playing cards into the wee hours. Despite her decidedly proper upbringing, Amelia's taken to roughing it more than I ever have. She fits in and connects with the local populace with such amazing empathy. Because of her, I've had a bit of an unexpected breakthrough in my research. She managed to convince an artifact dealer in Old Town to sell me a magnificent and quite... I'm not surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. Amelia, I know we have had our differences in recent years. I've tried my best to keep an open mind about your relationship with Richard, but I just can't let you go on this ill-conceived expedition without saying my piece. You say Richard's theories have merit. You say that he may have actually stumbled upon some mythic unknown truth, but I have seen nothing to support such claim. Still just as creepy as I remember. My lord, I hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health. Before I bore you with estate affairs, I wanted to let you know that our little angel has been into some mischief. As always... Poor Winston. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. King to Queen One. I'm going to win this time, Winston. <laughs> Clever girl. But you should know by now, winning isn't everything. Queen to King's Bishop Six. Check. Easy for you to say. You I would play chess with our old butler Winston on this board. Never could beat him. I always chose white. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. 
Always win. Knight takes queen. What I mean to say is try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to King Seven. I know, Winston. I just want... Oh no! I didn't even see that! You should also know by now, I'm not to be trifled with on this board, young lady. Mate. Oh, I am going to win. Someday. I'm at a crossroads now. Good lord, that's such a cliché. But there's truth in it. Two roads before me. Both present joy and compromise. A life with Richard. Adventure, intellectual pursuit, perhaps a new family. But also a man obsessed with something I cannot understand. Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birthday expedition. a good bottle of wine. Hmm. I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. Dad, this is it! The basement of despair! Indeed, Lara. Muster your courage, for this is the only path to the Library of Infinite Knowledge. Look there! See the string? An ancient Egyptian tripwire. The Keepers of Knowledge want none to disturb their treasures. We must tread carefully. Let me lead. I know how to spot all the traps. I'm sure you do, my darling. Lead on! Hmm, water damage from the main hall above. One of the wire traps Winston made for my birthday expedition. Winston used my hair ribbons to make this. He and Dad put a lot of work into this birthday surprise. <laughs> my stuffed bear. I couldn't have a tomb without a mummy. for adding electricity to the manor. Dad used to say his granny hated all the bright lights. Hmm, there's a missing page. Amelia left tonight. She packed her suitcase and walked right out of here and I didn't even notice. Like those days in the Oxford Library before we even met. Okay, Dad's ledger has to be in here somewhere. Hopefully it has the combination to the safe. 
for God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure, my favorite painting by Amelia, the day of our wedding anniversary. Okay, got to find those objects to figure out the combination to the safe. There's something else here. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had... No, let me see, let me see. These two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one. In the chapter one of Winston's notes, he always hit sweets for me to buy. Egyptian districts. Why, yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page with the illustration of Ra. My goodness, you've been paying attention, haven't you? This could be an important. This was always one of my favorite books in this library. I used to trace hieroglyphs. Breakthrough. Does this mean I'm your research assistant? That and more, my darling girl. Takes me back. Those were good times. The best times. Dad's lighter. I don't remember him ever using it, though. The Croft family crest and initial... Okay. Should be able to light the fireplace now. I always accepted that Richard's rather unorthodox research was just something I had. This music is familiar. It's beautiful. <laughs> it appears Sir Reginald's helmet fell off. Or oh, didn't I put it back properly? I've created a clever little map for Lara's birthday expedition. I used the invisible ink Amelia picked up for me in Morocco so many years ago. At the time, I remember being so annoyed by that rather aggressive street vendor. I've reached the monastery. As Roth predicted, it was hidden deep in the Himalayas. And now... Hmm, Dad was looking for an elixir. Was it the elixir of life? image of a key. I remember this map now. It leads to the master key. We made it with a special kind of invisible ink. It could only be seen with the heat of a fire. Mm. I think I stashed one of Winston's master keys in here when I was a kid.
This should help me read the map. I can see the map. Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. X marks the spot, as they say. The master key. This should get me into the west wing. This should open most rooms in the manor, including the Forbidden West Wing. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? Hmm. I think this hieroglyph corresponds to a number. Which one? Okay, Dad's clues mention Mum's paintings and their anniversary. Hopefully I can find some answers in the West Wing. Need to search the rest of the manor for the clues to the combination. I became interested in immortality myths after his expeditions to Egypt. My lord, we all hope your work was well received at the conference and look forward to your return. As is so often the case with these missives, I wanted to call your attention to an incident involving our little angel. It seems that Lara has been the subject of some ridicule amongst the other girls at school. From what I can gather, some of the other young ladies were teasing her for being too much of a tomboy. You know how Lara can get when pushed into a corner. Let's just say they won't be bothering her again. But I do think their words have had an effect. I believe Lara has been missing her mother lately. She's begun to worry that she isn't like the other girls. And having grown up with only a father, it shouldn't come as a surprise that she has trouble relating to them. I wonder if this new friend of yours, Anna, is it? Perhaps she might prove a welcome influence. It might be worth bringing her to the manor to meet Lara. In any case, I'll let you decide the proper time to do that. Please travel home safely. Yours, Winston. Hatched for years, exactly as she left it. I don't have any memory of this. I wish I could remember doing this. Mum with me is a baby. I've never... Mum's paintings. Which one was Dad's favorite? I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say, I return to my family's home. Hmm, blocks of red. Dad's favorite painting. Maybe something about that painting will help me figure out the combination. Let me show you. Like this, see? <laughs> well done, Lara. Well done. I wonder how my life would have been different had she lived.
This was for a show in London of Mum's work. What I wouldn't give to see this today. Hmm. It says here, Amelia Croft plans to show her work. Lara arrived tonight, though not without a bit of drama, but all is well. She's a healthy, beautiful baby. I've never seen... I'm glad I still have so much of Mum's work. With Amelia gone, the manor is a different place. A dimness pervades, a quiet I can't stand. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best. And his worst. I've experienced... My mother's perfume. The smell. So... F After everything... I think this was Dad's pocket watch. Hmm. Looks like it stopped precisely at midnight. Atlas has done... How could you tell him about the expedition? This is Dad. I suppose it's a family tradition, but I can't imagine having one of these made of me. It's just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. I don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard, but please, trust me. I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go. Without me, tonight, I will take care of Atlas, and then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It wasn't always an easy road for my parents. Amelia would not have approved. That alone should have been... At least that old thing still works. Mum's wedding ring. I always wondered what happened to it. The inscription is faded. I am bursting with pride. Amelia is the child. It is amazing how every... Dad may have discovered the secret to immortality without even knowing it. I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. October 13th, Mum's birthday. Okay, back to the study to open that safe. Hmm. <laughs> Mum, on her wedding day, she looks so beautiful. There's a date, October something, damn, the number is faded. Their anniversary was in October. Which day? I can't believe I don't know this. There's got to be another clue somewhere. The Croft family crest. Dad, what do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. There is something important in here. 
And it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad. Happy to know that Dad kept us safe. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I am numb. It is taking all my willpower to hold back the overwhelming grief. Amelia's plane crashed in the mountains. She died alone in the snow, waiting for me to find her. Oh God, not her, not now. I cannot accept it. Life without her is too painful to imagine. I know what must be done. And I am resolved. I'm going to bring her back. Perhaps this is why I am here. Perhaps this is fate. A test of my faith in the truth I've sought for so long. Roth will fight me on this, but I can't face Lara. I can't look into her eyes unless I try. I must try to bring Amelia back. The monks are preparing the elixir now, and then we will see if all my years of hunting this truth was for naught. Dad, what did you do? Dad's sequel to his first book on immortality. He never got a chance to publish it. Handwritten. This is the only copy. Damn, this isn't it either. I was certain there had to be a will in here. Wait, what's that? Hmm, a blank page. Dad must have left this for me. It has to be important. Hidden message. What are these strange marks? They have to be some kind of clue. This picture was taken in the library. Eighteen twenty additions to the main hall in progress. Hmm. Mistress Lara, I took the liberty of preparing a tray, as dinner did not go according to plans. I've included, in addition to your meal, a few treats. I would appreciate it if you kept this between us, but I felt tonight called for something special. If you will forgive me the indulgence, your rapid exit from the dinner table had me concerned, and I wanted to impart something that I hope sets your mind at ease. I have known your father for quite some time. There is an intensity to his passion that can be frightening, but I recognize that same passion in you. Another 
another one of Dad's immortality artifacts. I think Rothborn. Lara, since your return from your expedition to Yamatai, I've grown increasingly alarmed at your erratic behavior. I can only assume you suffered some kind of psychological trauma and are only acting out as a call for help. I want you to know that I hear you, loud and clear. Anna and I agree that it's time for you to be evaluated by a professional. I took the liberty of arranging an introduction to a highly qualified colleague of mine. You should be receiving the details in the post soon. I want to impress upon you the importance of this, Lara. As executor of the estate, it is my duty to see that it is left in capable hands. And if I may be blunt, you're acting like your father when he was at his worst. He nearly lost the manor himself in those days. I'd hate for you to repeat his mistakes. I encourage you to embrace the help I'm offering. Sincerely, your uncle. Locked in. Hmm, did this open the secret door from the inside? Hope I'm not trapped in here. Did Dad build all of this just to keep his research safe? There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east, our respite to the west, our past to the north. Could there be something else beneath the manor? Dad's collected knowledge. There must be so many secrets hidden in here. This was part of a set of statues Dad found in China. He thought it was linked to the Temple of Xi'an. Perhaps I should look into it someday. It's over. I have done all that I could, and my Amelia is still cold and... You brought her home. She's here, somewhere. The renovations are proceeding in secret. The work crew Roth hired for the job have been paid handsomely to keep the details of the job out of the re- The missing page from the renovation plans. They didn't want anyone outside the family knowing about this crypt. My love. It is silent. So peacefully silent now. Mum faced death alone. She was so brave. Might be able to use this to access.
Hi, Dad. So I know I only just returned to school, but when can I come out to the dig site again? It's just so boring here. We're doing all the stuff I already read last summer. I always end up staring out the window and thinking about our expeditions, and then I'm yelled at for daydreaming. I promise I'll be good and not disturb you and just work wherever you tell me. This bust of Anubis was from Dad's Egyptian collection. He must have put it down in the basement for all the... Dad's Tibetan scroll. I remember he used to pour over this late into the night. Richard, I tried to see you in person last week, but your manservant hustled me away like some common tout peddling silverware. He told me you are heartbroken and you're not yet ready to see visitors. He told me you blame yourself for your loss. Well, to that, I say, you had damn well better. I hope it hurts. I hope every moment of your life from this day forward is a ringing echo of loss. I hope you live just long enough to feel that pain grow when you hoped it would diminish because you earned it. You stole Amelia from us. Lord Croft is resolved to seal the west wing of the manor. I try to talk sense into him, but he will not be swayed. And to make matters worse, I believe his experiences in...
is to the east, our respite to the west. Our future is to the south, our past is to the north. up on my ancestors one of these days. Incredible, this crypt was here all along. I expected a sort of crushing finality to grip me when we returned to the manor to lay Amelia to rest. My God, can it be? Dad, you did bring her home. My dearest Lara, it is difficult to write this, knowing these may only ever be words on a page to you. I wonder if you will remember my voice. Will you remember the way we used to play and laugh? Will you remember me comforting you when you were sad? Know that I'm still with you, Lara. My energy, my love, it's within you. It always will be. Use that energy to pursue your passions in life. Never let others determine your journey. You become who you are through your choices, through the love you give and the promises you keep. I hope you are happy, that you are loved and successful in whatever it is you choose to do. I am proud of you, my darling. Remember me with all my love, your mother. <laughs> 